So to continue with the operations associated with the list abstract data type and their time complexity, um, we looked at uh, the addition of an element. Now let's look at setting an element to a given position i. In the case of a linked list, it's going to involve the same time complexity as adding an element at the position i because you will have to access that um, element at position i. So accessing any element um, with a given index is one that requires n over 2 or n steps, or steps that are proportional to the number of elements. Uh, this is also the case with removing and getting because they all require an access of an element. So in the, in the case of a linked list, it's always going to be n over 2. Uh, for the array, if we look at setting an element at a given index, that's going to be very simple because accessing an element of an array at a given index is simply by saying, for example, if our array was a, then all you have to do is ai. So there's no actually cycling through all the elements to get to your particular element. Uh, whereas in the case of a linked list, we had to go through a bunch of nodes. So go to the first node, go to the next one, until you find your i one. And uh, so in the case of an array, it's just going to be independent of the number of elements in the array, because we could immediately and directly access that, uh, um, that particular element that we want and set it to wherever we're trying to set it to. Um, removing an element, however, will be just as we had for the addition, it will require some shifting. If you remove an element, and in the worst case scenario, suppose you removed an element from the beginning of the list, then you will have to shift all the ones to the right, you'll have to shift them leftwards. So it is dependent on the number of elements in. Um, clearing the, the list is very simple in, in both cases. It involves a constant number of steps. Because in the case of a linked list, all you have to do is just set the head and tail. And in the array list, uh, just create another array if you want and forget about the first one. Um, accessing an element, so we said for the linked list, it's going to involve uh, steps that are proportional to n. And for the array, um, accessing an element is very simple, just like we showed here. It's independent of the number of elements that we have. Getting the size, that's also something that's stored in the list. So that's a constant number of steps. You're just gonna um, you're just gonna query that that specific variable, and and, and the array it's also something that's quite simple. So as you can see, um, there are advantages to using the linked list over the array list or the array list over the linked list, depending on what you foresee as being the most common operation. Also, uh, in special cases, for example, if if you had an uh, list and you know in advance that you're going to be handling the first element more than any other element. You're going to be adding a lot of elements to the first and, and removing from the, from the first. So you would probably want to avoid the array because it would give you a lot of trouble and uh, um, there, there, there will be a lot of shifting involved and it will be the worst case scenario of the shifting. So what you want to do is, is uh, probably <coughs> uh, um, opt for the, the linked list.